Hello everyone! In this video, as promised, notification scams. Probably the most repugnant and annoying type of malware as of 2021. Ordinarily, malware is something that I love, and the more annoying it is to a normal user, the better. But here, in this case, notification scams manage to annoy even me, a huge malware enthusiast. So, I guess no one likes them, and no, there is no exception to that rule. The only reason notification malware is present Actually, there are several reasons. Let's start with the first one. Okay. First of all, browser policies allow websites to send you notification requests. Anything of that kind. Uh, say some Nathan A. Ildan Pro wants to show notifications. And you can choose uh, from either allow or block. So, again, nothing wrong with that, but the main problem with notification requests is the fact that websites can save the return value, it is required. And the return value is what you have pressed, allow or block. And depending on that return value, the website can run any logic, any logic at once, including redirects. What that means is once you press the button, it's up to that site what happens. So the obvious problem occurs. If a website receives the return value of block, it can freely decide to redirect you to its subdomain where it hasn't called the notification request on. In this case it didn't call the notification request for some reason. It did a few redirects, but it's obvious if it wasn't broken it would show me the notification request on every single subdomain. So adf.ly is one of those horrible horrible websites that shoves notification requests in your face and uh, in some other place, if you will. And here's the vicious circle. Every time user presses block, a terrible website redirects them to the next subdomain of itself, where the user is again asked to press allow to continue. It can happen indefinitely, because there is no limit to how many subdomains can be created within a domain. Even if there was a limit, they could just redirect you to another domain they own. Domains are dirt cheap. So please press allow to continue, we click block and we get redirected. Ideally it would ask us one more time to press allow and the prompt would appear. But it appears that it's broken. But we still have an obvious problem. Browsers let sites decide what happens to a user should they click block. Can this be fixed? Yes, I think so. Browsers should only allow sites to run logic within notification API or whatever there is. So it should only be restricted to the notification functions. Say the websites cannot redirect you whenever you click block. The browsers managed to disable autoplay, so I'm sure they can confine the fuming trash that the notifications are as well. That's one way to fix it, obviously easier said than done, but it's a surprisingly common occurrence nowadays. Any website can restrict your access to a given resource if you don't click allow. That's a core problem with browser notifications, and if they can't fix that, notifications have to go. It's a major hole in modern browsing safety. Any child can get tricked into pressing allow to get their Minecraft cheat downloaded, to then be repeatedly spammed with explicit cam girl and casino ads. So let's say I click allow. I can visit a bunch of sites like download.com. It'll also show me a few notifications. Obviously there will be a prompt. There it is, finally. So I click allow. Okay, we found our first malicious ads from notification scams. There we go. Is the system under threat? Install free antivirus now. And if I recall correctly, that's total AV. Let's find out. Well, did I not fucking call it, huh? 
I analyzed this type of malware for months, and in that time frame I've seen more explicit content than I have in the past few years. Next point, notification stalls are horrendous. It's not the ones you've seen on Windows 7, Windows 7 is slowly fading away. On Windows 10 these are awful. They block roughly one twelfth of your screen and restrict you from clicking anything under them. Not only that, but service workers are fully unrestricted and can send as many notifications as they'd like, any time of the day, as long as you have your browser open. So again, the website decides what to do with you, and what to send to you, and how much to send to you, and how often to send to you, and practically anything. That doesn't sound good at all. Last but not least, they're completely legal. And since they are legal, they are undetected, and no any malware will help you in removing annoying porn pop-ups that you will get, at least as of now. Any malware has no way of checking tossed contents. Or if there is an antivirus program that does, please tell me in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about any action taken against garbage. Uh, what else can be said about notifications? Ah yes, they're everywhere. Why are they everywhere? That is a good question. Essentially, you get paid to promote sponsored content via notifications. So that's an entire black market behind our backs. Well, here we go. Turn on ad blocker, and we can join AliExpress Black Friday. Yeah, that's a malicious extension. Ad Avenger. Something I actually made a video about. I think that's enough to conclude that browser notifications are a mistake. Even if I missed a few points here and there. As per Malwarebytes, browser push notifications, a feature asking to be abused. We'll get to removal in a little bit, I want to prove to you that notifications can be forced. For that I registered under a steaming moist file dumpster, called filemix.com. It's obviously of Russian origin because... Our people are poor, I guess. Whenever I hit create link, I can specify what kind of deplorable act I want to perform on a user downloading my file. That can vary starting from forced notifications, which is today's topic, ending up with a fake installer, which will definitely install adware. So here we get the universal link for computers and mobile, and a specific link for messengers. Because you guessed it, messengers have like, secured browsers that aren't really browsers, and they don't have notification functionality. So they had to go out of their way to create a landing page, where you copy the link and paste it in a real browser, where you get prompted to click allow and get all the trash notifications. So anyone can pull this on you, especially Russians. <laughs> Just remember, always click block. On that note, I always wanted to experiment on such a horrible file dumpster, in particular how much I can earn with it. So to any volunteers that want to help me with performing such an experiment, the idea is to click allow on every push notification request and start the infected fake installer on your virtual machine. Virtual machine, remember. Never, ever, ever, ever run it on your host. Again, all that is for educational purposes only. I'll probably give it a month to brew, and in the end we'll see how much I have earned through this piece of shit. Now to the removal process. This kind of malware is never difficult to get rid of. It's easy to catch and easy to remove. It doesn't leave any residue after you remove it, because it can't do anything on your computer apart from sending explicit notifications. So to remove it, you slap in about column slash slash service worker dash internals and you end up here and you just start spamming on a register here on each one of them see how the notifications are just gone make it a clean shit just like I have done here there may be one or two remaining which you can't remove but that's fine everything else should be gone and that's about it for the removal process it's that easy to sum up, I can tell that browser notifications are a mistake. Browsers should either enforce strict policies or they should just get rid of them altogether. They don't bring any good. 
Again, if you're confident enough, partake in that gorgeous money-making machine. That will roughly estimate how much those crappy companies earn per click. Never click alone your cost and take care.